Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of June, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Virgo, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, your girl loves coffee. Any and every amount is greatly appreciated. And lastly, Virgo, if you enjoy these readings and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every single Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Okay, Virgo, main energy for your reading is the death. Bottom of the deck, you get the six of cups. This is definitely a soul connection that you are dealing with. You and this person have a lot of memories, you have a lot of history, but this soul connection, either the entire connection or a certain phase in this connection is coming to an end. And you're the one that's ending it because you're showing me, I recognize that whatever this is in this soul connection or the soul connection as a whole no longer serves me. There's no point in me holding on to this. It no longer aligns for me. And we're going to see exactly what this is all about. Um, so like I said, the main energy for your reading is the death. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. I also see Cancer here, um, and I also see Pisces. Those are the main signs that I'm seeing. Obviously, your person can be any sign. Those are just the main ones. In the recent past, you get the King of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Tower. You have a lot of love for this person. You're showing me, and again, I don't even know if you're aware of what this person feels for you or not, but in the recent past, you're focused on how much you love them. You're showing me, I love them, I love them so, so much. There's so much emotion there. And at some point, there was a lot of equal give and take. Why can't I pick up these cards? There was a lot of equal give and take between you and, and your person. You gave, you received, it flo like there was a good flow. The energies just worked and they were balanced. Um, and I say were because you're showing me the tower here. That cracked. Something in that cracked. It no longer worked in the recent past. So either you fell out of love with this person, but for the majority of you, I feel like the, the equal give and take that you felt at some point in this connection just wasn't there anymore. In the current situation, you get the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. So there's this deep desire for you, right? Like you're hoping that if you just kind of quiet your mind and give love, offer this person love, express how you feel, like really pour love into them, you'll be able to turn things around. Things will get better. This is what you're hoping will happen. Your intuition, or I would even say like your logical side, is kind of telling you, 50-50, right? There's this kind of like back and forth in your energies of, yes, this is going to happen. No, it's not. Yes, all I have to do is like keep, keep trying, keep trying, and it'll work. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, we'll clarify. We'll see. I want to say I don't know if it actually pans out the way you want it to or not, but we'll see. In the near future, you get the Queen of Wands, the Chariot, and the Hanged Man. You feel very, very attractive. You feel very, very magnetic energetically. Like you feel really good with your energy here in the near future. And you're showing me like, I know what direction I personally want to move in, but you're stuck. We're gonna see if this direction has to do within this connection, if this connection, if this um, direction has to do with your own internal self. I'm not 100% sure, but it's like, you know where you wanna go. You're confident in your ability to make it happen and you're still stuck. Why? Let's see, let's clarify. We'll take a look at the death, which is the main energy for your reading this month. The death is clarified by the Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Star. Bottom of the deck, you get the Seven of Wands. There's a lot of resistance that you're dealing with here, a lot of resistance. Now, you're showing me that whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they are your person. You're showing me like they're my empress and I don't assign gender to my cards. They are the person for me. You're aware of that. You know that, right? You're, it, it's not like you're unclear on what they mean to you, the significance that they hold to you. You know that they are the person for you as far as you're concerned. You're crystal clear on that. And you're also showing me, I really want us to move in a better direction. Like I'm hopeful that we're able to get through this like icky, difficult period that we're in and move in a much, much, much better direction. But there's also a part of you, because remember the death is at the bottom, there's also a part of you which recognizes like something in this connection, despite the love that I have for this person, despite my desire to move in a better direction, something in this connection just isn't serving me anymore. It's no longer aligned for me. And that's where you're experiencing this resistance. This could be resistance that you're feeling from the other person, that for the majority of you, this is your internal resistance, where there's this like clash between 
this connection or this person no longer aligning with you and you still really wanting to hold on to them and not let go and have things turn around and move in a better direction. Let's clarify that recent past. We'll start off with the King of Cups in the recent past. King of Cups is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Chariot, which you get again in the near future, and the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you get the Queen of Cups. You genuinely not only love this person, right? Like I remember I said at the beginning how much you love them. You know that they love you just as much. So it's not like they, you're unaware of how they feel. But the thing is, um, Virgo, I have to say that you're showing me like a specific direction that you want to move with, move in with them. Why am I so, like, I'm trying to talk and communicate, and it's like my energy is all over the place. So I don't know if you're just very frazzled or what, but, like, I'm having a hard time getting the words out. Um, so essentially, you love them, and you know which direction you want to move in with them. But there's also a part of you which is very much aware that it might not work out. You're showing me emotional detachment here, emotional disconnect from this desire, from wanting to move in a certain direction with them. There's almost this energy here of you being like, they love me, I love them, they love me, I love them. But part of you is asking yourself, like, do they really? Do they really love me as much as I love them? Do they really feel what I feel for them? And Virgo, you get the three of swords. I don't think that they do. I don't, and even if they do, they're not expressing it. They're not giving you emotionally, at least in the recent past, what you're giving them. There's an emotional disconnect, an emotional detachment. Let's take a look at the Six of Pentacles in the recent past. Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups. You're showing me, and this is you, Hermit at the bottom of the deck. At some point, like I said, there was a very, very good flow. And then that flow slowly diminished. It's literally like you guys went from I give, you, you give, I give, you give, I give, you give, to... I give, I give, I give, and I get back. So it's like for every three, four, five units of energy that you give them, you get one back. There's no equal give and take. You feel abandoned. You feel alone. And again, even if this person is still in a connection with you, they're not reciprocating what you're giving them. They're not giving you the same amount of energy. And you're showing me, I just want to get back to that place where we enjoy each other's company, where it's great, where the emotion is there, where there is this equal give and take. It's just not there in the recent past. I don't know what happened, but like this person has literally toned down the amount of effort and energy that they're giving you significantly. Let's take a look at the tower in the recent past. Tower is clarified by the Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you get the strength. It's difficult. It's difficult because this, this flow, this beautiful energy that you and this person had, it cracked. They stopped and it's heartbreaking to you and you're showing me like, I still love them. I still love them and I believe that they still love me just as much, but they're not giving me emotionally what I'm giving them. I'm giving way more emotion to this connection, way, way more energy to this connection and this person is not reciprocating it and that is heartbreaking and it is painful and it is difficult for you in the recent past. And you're showing me, I just want to get back to this place of a new beginning in love where, again, whether you're together or not doesn't matter, just having a new face, starting over emotionally, right? In tarot, there's four different aces, and you're showing me the love one. You want the love that you and this person once shared to come back. Let's take a look at the current situation. I want to see what the seven of swords is in the current situation. Seven of Swords is clarified by the hangman, which you get in the near future, the death, which is the main energy for your reading, and the Eight of Swords. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck in this energy between wanting to just put an end to it, right, because you recognize that this person and this connection just no longer really align for you in a very significant way, and wanting to have a rebirth. In tarot, the death card is usually just death. In this specific death, in this specific uh, deck, it's the death rebirth. And so you're kind of stuck between some days you're like, I'm just going to end it. Other days you're like, no, 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 we can, re we can like rekindle this. We can have a new beginning. You are really spending a lot of time in your head thinking and analyzing and trying to figure out what do I do? Do I just call it quits and end it? Or do I keep trying to revive this? Because again, at the bottom of the deck, you get the lovers. You love this person. You view them as a soul connection. You view them as the person for you, the empress, the lovers. Like this is not, these are not like, 
small energies, right? And so I can see your desire to really hold on to this person and to really try to make this work. Let's clarify the high priestess in the current situation. High Priestess is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. You're showing me, I really do want to communicate with them and tell them like everything that I'm feeling, everything that I'm thinking, right? But you're keeping it all inside. You're not really saying much and you have a lot to say. You've entertained this conversation, like you've had this conversation with them in your head a million times. You know exactly what you wanna say and you know how you want it to play out, right? You want them to meet you emotionally where you're at and be like, hey, I get you, I see you. You want them to reciprocate. So there's like an emotional balance between you and this person. But what are you actually doing? Not much. You're keeping this, remember the high priestess is at the bottom. You're keeping this all inside. You're, you're not saying much. You're not communicating with them about this very much. Um, and again, I don't know if it's because you know that it's really not going to make much of a difference or you're gonna be met with some resistance from them. I'm not sure, but all I can see is that you know what you wanna say, you know how you want this conversation to go. You're not actually having the conversation. Let's look at the Knight of Cups in the current situation. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, the Justice, and the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you get the Devil. Oh boy. They are just so, so difficult. Like I can see this person, you're coming in and you're giving them love. You're literally giving them all your love. You're taking your cup of love and you're just extending it to them. And what are they doing? Walls, emotional walls. This person is very, very closed off. They're very, very difficult to deal with because they're showing up under the emperor energy. This is somebody who is not only not emotionally vulnerable, it's like my way or the highway. Things have to happen the way they want them to happen, how they want them to happen, and that's how they feel balanced. That's what they feel good about. And so you coming in and giving them love, they're fine with that, they love that, right? But having this conversation or even asking them to reciprocate that love in a way that they are just like not in the mood or they don't feel comfortable with, all you're gonna get met with is walls, wall, wall, wall. So you're just like this beautiful, loving ball of light. And this person, I'm sorry to break it to you, they are not healthy. Like they are giving me like unhealed energy here. They have baggage, emotional baggage. They have their own demons that they're dealing with. And you're coming in and you're like, I'm just gonna love them and like heal them by loving them. And it's like, no, all they're doing is sucking your love, taking your love and you know, kind of like you're being met with a lot of resistance from them. It's difficult, it's draining. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands in the near future. Queen of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups, which you got in the recent past, the Three of Pentacles and the Tower, which you also got in the recent past. So this person is kind of giving you a little bit of whiplash, okay? Because you're showing me the, the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes they come in and they express their love to you and they're emotional and they're affectionate. And it makes you feel really, really good and attractive and desired and cared for. And you're like, yay, I feel on top of the world. And we're rebuilding this foundation. Because remember, you feel abandoned emotionally here in the recent past. We're rebuilding this foundation. We're moving in a good direction. This is great. This is amazing. And then just as quickly as they come in and give you this love and give you this reassurance, bam, it cracks again. And they pull back and you're met with resistance and heartbreak and emotional pain. And again, it's nothing that you're doing. This person is just, sometimes they're in this energy, sometimes they're in this energy, sometimes they express love, sometimes you meet them, you get met with walls. And it's, it's just very, very Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Like it's up to them when they want to give you love and when they wanna pull it back. And that again to me is emotional manipulation. We saw the devil tied up to this here. They have an immense need for control. They have to have to feel like they're in control of this entire connection. And the way, one of the ways that they do that is by giving you their emotion and also pulling it back whenever they feel like you're getting a little too comfortable or whenever they feel like something's not going exactly how they want, boop, they pull back that emotion. I'm sorry, Virgo, but that's really toxic. And I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is somebody you're dealing with. Let's take a look at the chariot in the near future. 
Chariots clarified by the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, which you've got here in the current situation of the Two of Wands. You want to move past this. You're showing me like, I just want to move in a good direction. And a good direction means moving away from this person for you. You're entertaining this idea. You're like, maybe it's just easier for me to be single, right? Do my own thing, be single, walk away from this. But it's difficult. It's difficult for you to walk away from this. It's difficult for you to completely detach from this person for whatever reason. I don't know why. It could be emotionally, it could be other things, but you're showing me like it's difficult. It would not be an easy thing for me to just get up and walk away. And so in the meantime, you're showing me like, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to plan a little bit more. Like I know what I feel I should be doing, but right now I'm not going to take action on it yet. I'm just going to kind of hold back, wait. We'll wait and see. Oh, man. This is not an easy person to deal with, Virgo. Let's take a look at the hanged man in the near future. Hanged man is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you get the Six of Wands. The reason you're not walking away in the near future, why you're literally stuck and holding on, is because you're hoping. You're hoping that if you just wait long enough, things will shift in a better direction and things will start to work right? You're showing me like maybe there are other options which I haven't explored. Maybe I need to learn how to communicate with them better. Maybe I need to give them more love. Maybe I need to be more patient with them. Maybe I need to, you know, whatever fill in the blank that you think you haven't done at this point, you're showing me like if I just wait a little longer, if I just hold on longer, right? Things will suddenly work out. We'll move in a positive direction. Everything will get better. And maybe it will, Virgo. Maybe it won't. But I still don't see you taking any action one way or the other. So... I guess we'll find out. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Virgo. From the universe, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Star. You're really, and again, bottom of the deck, you get the Devil. Virgo, this person is toxic. And I know when I say toxic, people are like, no, they're not toxic. They, they, I'm not trying to label them. What I'm saying is they have very unhealthy behavioral patterns and thought patterns. And one of them is how they give you love and allow you to receive love from them. And you're showing me, I feel such a strong bond with them. I feel such a strong connection and I have such a deep desire. You get the star and the star twice. A deep desire that will move in a better direction, that things will improve, that this connection will improve, that will move into a much more positive period even though, again, the progress that's being made in this direction is minimal. Like things are moving so, so slowly. And so basically what this is showing me is like from the beginning of your connection, you've noticed these like difficult behavioral patterns with them, but they've slightly improved over however long you guys have been together, right? And so you're hoping that if you just hold on longer, they'll improve much more. It really all boils down to how long you wanna wait, Virgo, because sure, things could improve, but how, this is like slow progress. This is almost like we're stuck in place, but we're making baby steps, but like it feel, it's so slow that it feels like we're stuck in place. And my question to you is, do you want to wait in order to see this like slight improvement? Um, and for some of you, it's yes. For some of you, it's no. So that's going to be up to you. Um, but Virgo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here on the next one.